Well, Jeff, first of all, how are the feet? Uh, so, very, very so. It, it, look, I knew it would be tough, but I didn't quite realise how tough it was going to be. I'm used to running marathons. When you run a marathon, four hours, you know, you're done. You, you've got the silver foil on you and the drink in your hand and the Mars bar. Here, yeah, four hours, you might be halfway if you're lucky, you know. So, yeah, it's been hard, but it's been really worthwhile because we've had such fantastic reaction from people along the way and from, from football clubs. I mean, it, and a great welcome here, you know, Sheffield Wednesday. So that just makes it all worthwhile. Gives you a big boost when you see a welcome like that with the band and everybody else. Of course it does, you know, and, and um, we just had massive support and it was great, you know, that a couple of uh, the Wednesday players were here. Kieran Lee was here and Kieran Westwood, and that's absolutely fantastic as well. That's a big morale boost. And I look back to yesterday and I think it's fair to say that halfway through yesterday's leg, which was Doncaster at the Scunthorpe, my spirits were beginning to dip a bit. And then who should turn up at a pub halfway but Siri and Botham, you know, and he does the rest of the, the walk with us and he just lifted morale so much. And I mean, a lot of our walkers um, are either suffering from prostate cancer, uh, have had somebody who has suffered with prostate cancer and in some cases died from it, um, or have got friends or relatives. And sometimes they need to pick me up as well, you know? So, uh, and Russ Green, the, the heart of the United Chief Executive, and I, we need to pick me up most of the time. <laughs> So you're into six figures already with the fundraising. Yeah. How important is that? Well, initially, the idea was to raise awareness, you know, because obviously prostate cancer, I view it as a sort of silent killer in the sense that um, men don't want to talk about it. Men don't want to go to the doctors. Men don't want to go to the doctors, particularly about anything below the waist. And uh, they certainly don't want to discuss it, you know, but it kills, you know, one man every hour. One man in eight is affected by it. If you're black, one in four is affected by so it's trying to raise awareness of those facts you know and what you should do if you're in one of the vulnerable groups and by that i mean somebody who's got a family history somebody who's over 50 somebody who might want to go to pee in the middle of the night you know a lot of times when they get there find that they, they can't really do it um you know just to try and encourage them to consult somebody maybe at prostate cancer uk or possibly your gp um so that was the initial thing now then the fundraising well that was secondary but it's been fantastic I and mean, when we've got two hundred thousand now you know we've got a lot of corporate sponsorship to come in so we're certainly going to crack a quarter of a million and i think it's going to go a lot higher it, it wasn't it wasn't the main aim but um it, it's been tremendous yeah. so tell us how people can help and where they can do it well, if they go to um, www.menunitedmarch.org, they can donate there. Or the other way is look at the route, come along, give us a shout, because that's helping in itself. You know, if you can't afford a couple of quid, just come and give us a shout, you know, because we really appreciate it.